Hi sellers, this is Mari. Today we are doing a new format because I'm gonna be teaching you something extremely exciting that's gonna help all of you new sellers to have an incredible A plus content piece that will help you out up until the moment that you are ready to invest on professional content made by professional people like your studio. So just let us know at the end of the video if you guys have any questions and we would be more than happy to answer them for you. My team would be extremely happy to help you as well. So let's get started. Let's recap a little what A plus content is. Basically, A plus content is a visual piece that you can include in your listing where you will be able to explain what your product is, how it works, the benefits, etc., through images that tell a story, that talk about your brand, talk about your product more in depth than what an usual listing image would do, okay? Some of the benefits of A plus content are uh, fewer returns. So basically when you upload A plus content to your listing or to your Amazon listing, you have the chance to give more information of your product, which makes buyers make an informed purchase, which obviously will help you get fewer returns because people understand and know exactly what they are buying or what they are getting from their money. As well, it has been proven that A plus content, when it's the basic version, can help you increase your sales and conversions up to 15%, whereas if you use premium A plus content, you can get up to 20% in increase. So that's huge. And if you don't have A plus content because you don't have the money to pay someone right now, the way we can help you here at Shared Studio is by giving you a couple of A plus content templates that are literally ready to use. They are ready for you to download, get on Canva, and just replace the images with your own product images and go ahead and create a piece that is gonna help you get those conversions. So how can you use it? At the very bottom of this video, in the description, you're gonna find this link to our Amazon A plus content templates. So you're just gonna go ahead and put your email. I'm gonna put mine, contact at sharedstudio.com. My first name is Mary, my last name, is walls and I'm just gonna click on I want my A plus content templates. So this is the email you're gonna get and what you have to do is very, very simple. Okay, you just have to scroll down and then you will have the templates for Photoshop and you will have the templates for Canva. In this occasion, I'm gonna show you how to use the Canva templates because I think it's the most common or the most commonly used program when it comes to beginners on Amazon, so we have three options of templates, okay? And of course, you have a video right here at the very end, so where I will show you how you can upload your A plus content on Amazon. It's extremely easy, it's not a very long video, and once you're done with your Canva template, you can go ahead and upload it, okay? We have three options. Basically what we did just to make you your lives easier was to create three separate templates according to different industries, okay? So we have the beauty then we have the home and kitchen template and last but not least we have the technology template so this is the one we're going to use today and it's actually a very good product what we're going to do once you open the canva template this is what you're going to find everything is ready to be edited just so you know there are a couple of assets here and there that are included but everything that is right here you can edit the text etc the product we're going to use is actually from a brand that we created in a past youtube video where we collaborated with carlos alvarez the founder of wizards of ecom in which we literally used chat gpt to create a brand from zero we had the product and then we went ahead and created all of the aspects of this brand, the name, the logo, the infographics, the lifestyle images, everything we did with ChatGPT. So we're gonna use that today as an example. Now, the product is a toilet timer, a toilet timer that literally serves to count the time that you have been on the toilet so you don't spend too much time there because we know that can be a problem. So we're gonna use those images all of them are right here and i'm going to teach you how to replace everything okay the first thing that we need to replace right here is the background so the way we're going to do it is basically you're going to upload your images all to canva the images that you want to use for your a plus content and you're going to choose which ones you want to basically include so the first one i have is this one right here I'm gonna drag it and it's automatically replaced. So this is for the toilet timer. The reason why I'm choosing this image to go right here on the very one 
or the very first module is because it actually represents the toilet timer. It has the product very clearly, but it also is standing on an actual toilet, which I think it's going to help people understand what type of product this is. Uh, from the very beginning. Then we have the logo. So for the logo, if your logo is composed by just text, then maybe you guys could include it right here as text. But since we have an image, I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna drag the logo to this very asset. And just for the sake of making this video a little faster and not for you guys to see me in my whole creation process and thought process for a copy, I have the copies ready right here. So the slogan we're going to use is flush away boring bathroom decor. And then we have that first module. Now, the colors look a little boring in, in my opinion when it comes to this product, which is supposed to be funny. So I'm just going to grab the color and I'm going to change it to something more appealing, like orange, for example. This one could work. Probably, yeah. And just in case you want to make sure that your text looks very good, each separate text box, and I'm gonna apply an effect of shadow, and then we have it, and I think it's more readable now. So that's the first module. And also we have this little asset right here, which is an actual image. But definitely we could play a little with the transparency and so on and so forth. Or if we click to on edit image, you can just change the color with these filters. Okay, there we go. So now it has a little more color. And you can just grab all of this, by the way, and move it more centered on the module. That's what I'm gonna do. I love things to be centered, by the way. Moving on to the next module, we have to choose another image, which is gonna talk about the money saving on the water bill, because the least time you spend on the bathroom, the more water you're gonna save. So we're gonna just replace this image. We could replace it with um, probably this one right here. She's a woman in, in the bathroom. And then the copy or the title for this one is going to be save money on your water bill. So I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it right here. Now, what I'm gonna do, I believe the most important part of this text is the fact that you can save money with this product. So I'm just gonna play with the font in order to make that stand out and the rest of the text not stand out that much. So I'm just gonna move this right here like that. And the one thing I do notice is that the background is kinda dark. So you have to make sure that the color of the font also goes along with that. So everything is pretty readable. Obviously you guys can customize this all you want just to make sure that you're happy with it. Now, as per the rest, we have a couple of features. So the fact that it resets automatically, we can go ahead and include that right here, resets automatically. Then we have that it is a unique and fun sand timer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this that, put that here as well. And finally, we have the five minute duration, which we can just again, copy paste right here to make sure that everything is there. The thing though, is that not all of this text is readable, as I said before. So we have to select everything. So let's just do white, or what we could do, if you want to uh, play with it a little more, is to duplicate this box. Now we can play with the transparency, just so it doesn't look too harsh on the image or the contrast, or the contrast isn't too much. And then we can change the color to again, that maybe orange or even the blue, the teal. So now we're just gonna copy and paste that same box and all of the text is gonna be readable. What we can do though, is since this one right here is not as readable, we can go ahead and change that text again, maybe to gray or to black. So it's more readable. Um, or we could even add a drop shadow just to make sure that everything can be very well seen. Here though, in these uh, three black boxes, what we can do is two things. We can include an icon that represents the text or we can include images. I think it's easier to include icons in this particular set of features because it's way too specific. So to have images like that, if you did an organic shoot where you have photos of everything, then obviously you can include that image. But in this case, we don't have them. So let's just try with icons, okay? Before I add the icons, I'm just gonna change these boxes colors. I changed the boxes colors to orange just to make sure that the icons I'm going to include uh, are way easier to see, just like the text here. And now I'm going to add the icons. So now I'm just going to go and find that icon. We're just going to use one. So there we go. Again, please center everything, guys. The justification is just, it's going to make everything look better. And then we have 
the resets automatically, unique and fun side timer, five minute duration. And as per this, I'm just gonna get it out because this product doesn't have that many details, but if you had a product that has like a, a specific fabric, something extremely special, you can just go ahead and include that close up in the template, okay? So now we have this and we're gonna move on to the next one. In this one, I'm gonna talk about the multiple uses this product has. So let's just find a photo that is more, I would say, general. And we could use this one where two people are actually smiling and looking extremely happy. And I'm gonna move this text because it's not gonna be readable. And I'm gonna put this right here, use it everywhere. I'm gonna change the color to orange right here maybe blue is better it's gonna be more readable yeah i move the images or the blocks and now i'm gonna include images there so just to show that we can use it anywhere we currently have a photo of a kid and his dad in the bathroom and now we're gonna put another one so before we add this image i'm just gonna go ahead uh, to the background and i'm gonna block it so it doesn't get replaced and i'm just gonna drag the photo of the woman in her office gonna make it smaller of course obviously it's way smaller but again we're just giving examples and also I'm gonna put this image of a dad and his kid playing with the product and there we go so we can use it in the office and we can use it for playtime so I'm just gonna copy and paste this text box and put here office obviously just to, for it to make sense with the image I'm gonna make it way smaller and it kind of makes sense now okay so now that we have this one it's time to move to the fourth one the copy here will be a, a timer that will help with productivity so just to take advantage of that office photo and i know you're not supposed to repeat images at all in the a plus content again these are just images that we had from creating this brand make sure that you don't repeat images but either way we're just using these for all of it to make sense i'm gonna again block the image i'm gonna block this asset right here and this one right here and i'm gonna select all of the items and i'm gonna move them right here because the idea is for everything to look balanced for the text not to be too much for, for there not to be too much text in one side of the image or the A plus content like it is here. And then right here, we're gonna change it to the copy, a timer that will help you with productivity. So now we have it. Again, this should be easier to read. So let's just change and play with the color a little bit. Orange is not readable. This blue could be readable, but let's just play with a shape. Now that we have that box behind the text, let's just go ahead and change the color to something more readable. There we go, we have it. And last but not least, let's just change this final image to one of the ones that we had before. So we could include this one with the kid playing. Again, let's not repeat images, but if we do, let's make sure that it's a good image. So this one can actually help parents feel more identified with what they're seeing. So definitely let's just play it like that. Let's erase this uh, asset since it has not a lot to do. And just like uh, to include it right here, let's include that logo one more time and that would be it. Now, finally, since we have our piece ready, let's just click on share, download and download right again okay so this is how it came out obviously if you guys invest more time and more resources on a canva template it's gonna come out looking way better but i think this is very good for a 30 minute video and with the images that we have we didn't create more content for this specific a plus content we just used what we already had and work on top of that so make sure that you play with it make sure that the text is readable on both desktop and mobile make sure that whatever you're using brings more value to the purchase and to the clients and how and the way that they see your product in order for you to convince them to make the purchase okay this being said let's go to one last slide so thank you so much guys for watching this video i know it was a long one but it's extremely exciting to be able to help you guys with these templates that will make you guys' lives easier and way simpler if you're on a budget you can use these templates or you can just send them to your friends but make sure that they that you tell them to watch this video to learn how to, they can use it and how they can take advantage of these templates for the a plus content and for the amazon content okay so here you can schedule a call with us with our sales team 
listening who, who would be more than happy to help you find out what you need in order to optimize your listing with a complimentary marketing consultation. And if you just want to reach out via email, here's the email, hello at Shared Studio. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video to make sure that we know that you're enjoying what we do and that we can keep creating content for all of you. If you have any idea for content that you might like to see, just let us know and we'll create it for you. So it was incredible to see you. Until the next time, bye.